Purple is the color of choice for freshman lawmakers this session every Thursday. And here we are the first Thursday after the filing uh, deadline for bills last Friday. Marian Perez is a Democrat out of Houston. You are donning purple. What does that signify to you this session? You know, as one of the largest classes of uh, the legislatures here in Texas, I think that during freshman orientation, we had the opportunity to really get to know each other, to really become somewhat of a close-knit little family, regardless if you were, you know, red or, or blue, it didn't really matter. And I think that Representative Simmons had a great idea to red and blue make purple. So Purple Thursdays became, and um, I think it indicates a bipartisan view it doesn't really matter whether you're an R or a D as much as it matters that we have a lot of responsibility and a lot of decisions to make in the House. So the number one priority should be the constituents and the great state of Texas, not whether you're an R or a D. So I proudly wear my, thurs my purple every Thursday. Hey, you commented to me before we got started that you've been really busy. It's really ramping up here in the session. Last Friday was the bill filing deadline. We're getting into the thick of it. And we'll actually maybe see this color become reality as far as compromise working across the aisle. What issues do you see as opportunities for compromise? I think when you have a third of the House, almost a third of the House, it's new, it does present opportunity for change, you know, for um, just really to be able to get along and let's like I said earlier, just do what's best for the state of Texas. Are there issues that you can't compromise on? I'm hoping not. I'm hoping not. I'm willing to work with both sides, just whatever is best for the state. Thank you so much, Mary Ann Perez, a Democrat out of Houston. We'll be watching this session. Reporting at the state capitol, this is Alana Rocha with the Texas Tribune.